What's up guys? So today is a balmy 90 degree day and I got the sweatshirt on and long pants and boots because today I'm getting rid of poison ivy. If you can believe it, this plant right here is actually a poison ivy plant. The roots are insane. And this, another poison ivy plant. And this, another poison ivy plant. And there's more around the perimeter of our fenced in area here where our goats and chickens like to roam. Fortunately, goats love poison ivy. And they've actually done a great job of eating everything that they can reach, but now all the leaves and obviously the roots aren't gone yet. So that's my goal today now, is to remove the poison ivy from the roots and hopefully eliminate it altogether. Got some gloves and some duct tape that I'm going to use to duct tape. This is like really hard to do with goats around. Dude, lay off. Oh my gosh. Dude, leave my garbage bag alone. Some duct tape to duct tape my gloves to my shirt. Garbage bags. Clippers. Man, I'm like nervous. I think my heart's pounding. I really wanna like itch my face, but I'm not supposed to. Look at these goats, man. They love it. They love this stuff. I don't know how us humans can be so sensitive to poison ivy and the goats are just like gnawing at it. It's bizarre. So I got most of the leaves cleared away from this. It's much more manageable now. Um, so now it's time to attack the roots. Wow. It's like a freaking tree root. But these roots here on the ground and they kind of extend all the way back out. In fact, you can see little three leaves here, here. This is all part of the same vine and it goes all the way around here. So I got my work cut out for me. Seam up there. Hope he's not looking for some chicken. This video could change from being about poison ivy to being about another one of our chickens got ate by another hawk. Anyways, um, but the trick is, is after you pull out that plant, you can usually just feel around for the vine. It's not always right there by the plant that you pull out. Um, just feeling around though, you can usually find the vine. Um, it's just like an indicator that the vine's somewhere nearby. Um, so, and then it just pulls out pretty easily. All right, feel pretty good with what I was able to do here. Probably been out here a couple hours, um, but I feel like majority of this pasture now, it wasn't, it never got way back there by the chicken run. It was mostly just in this general vicinity, but still it was, it was taken over. And I'm sure I didn't get all of it, but I feel like I got 80 or 90% of it. So um, I think that's good for now. I'm just gonna get rid of those other bushes that are climbing up the on the fence line here and then call this project good.
All right, so last thing I'm gonna do here now, um, I got some poison ivy tiller. Um, you can see that I didn't get all of it out. It's kind of like tied, wrapped around the uh, fence line here. So I dug most of it out, um, but I'm not sure if this is actually required or not, but since I have it here, I'm just going, it says right there, kills the roots. So, so I'm just gonna spray this on here and hopefully um, it prevents it from growing back again. But I'd imagine they have to keep on checking back because this stuff doesn't like to go away easy. So last step, got some Dawn, um, any dish soap I guess does the trick. Okay, all the tools that I've used here, um, I'm just gonna go through, wipe them all off with the Dawn soap. So I've read that the oils from the poison ivy don't, they don't affect you right away. It's like, you guys, you got two to six hours before you get it off and it's kind of like really thick oil or tar almost that you can picture. And so you just gotta wipe a lot and then also use a cloth to wipe it down as well. And then that should get rid of most of the oils from the poison ivy, in theory anyways. I mean, to be honest, I'm a little nervous <laughs> that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and just be completely infected with this stuff because I've never done anything like this before. All right, so it's been about a week since I took care of that poison ivy. And well, good news is it wasn't the next day that I woke up with it all over me. It took about three days and I had poison ivy uh, rash all over me. So obviously I did not do a good enough job cleaning up afterwards or maybe I kind of rushed through it too much. I don't know, maybe I'm sensitive to it, but um, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that again.